All right, hello again. This is Jeff Scott of Blackhawk Technical College. I have been on my own redoing the tip calculator program, which I have called TC. Change the icon for it. And we've, we're in the middle of trying to beautify it or change it around a little bit aesthetically. And we've come to the point where we want to take the 10%, the 15%, and the 20% and move them to their correct column. All right, so really right now what we want is right now this is in column zero, this is in column one, and this is in column two. We want nothing to be in column zero here because we want that 10% to be here in column one, and then the 15 in column two, and the 20 in column three. So that's what we're going to want to do. All right, we should only have to move this one, and the rest of the stuff should move for us automatically. So it's 10 text view. There's different ways that we can do this. We can find the layout column over here, but it's kind of tough to go through and find it. So I'm going to switch over to the actual XML file, and I'm going to find that for 10 text view. So I'm going to come over here, Control F, 10 text view, and I'm going to find it. There it is. All right. And coming over here then to do all this, what I want to do next then, and it's not letting me, I, I actually don't even want this thing here. So. so I want to come through here and I want to add one more thing, and that is Android layout column. And I want to set that equal to 1. All right. This should move the 10% text view to the second column. Columns are numbered from 0 and upward. All of the other things in the row, so the 15 and the 20, should um, basically be placed automatically. In other words, they should change as well. All right. Now, it may actually look worse after we do this, but I'm going to save and then switch back. And now our 10% has been moved. You can't see the 20 anymore and the 15 looks way moved over, we'll fix that, okay? Realize, please do, that this stuff that looks real wide here, it's so wide because of that edit text that we put in here, all right? All of this will be fixed over time. Okay, so let's center the text in the text views of table row one and of the edit texts, well, all the text views in... Um, Table row 1, 2, 3, and 5. And we'll do that by setting, basically, we'll select all those text views. So what do we want to do? Well, there's two things that actually we want to do. First thing is we want these to be right justified over here. So let's grab those. So there's bill edit. There is the tip. There is the total. There is the custom and there is the other tip. All right, so with all of those highlighted, I'm going to come over to the text appearance and see if I can change it that way. Uh, and I don't remember how to do it that way, so I guess we'll do them one at a time. That's fine. All right. So I've got the first one chosen, and I'm going to come over here and what I want to do is I want to come in and I want to change the, um, under the layout parameters, I want to change, I believe it's the gravity here, I want to change this to right. So let's see if we do that. Now it's not going to look very different over here, but what should look different is when we go to the tip, how, hopefully that's going to move that over. So let's try doing the same thing. And hopefully you can tell now that that is now right justified. I'm getting error things over here. Don't worry about it. They will eventually work their way out. Total, gravity, right, custom, gravity, right, and tip, gravity, right. All right, so all of my stuff now, even though I've got those little things in there, those warnings, 
don't worry about it because they have now all, all of them have been right justified. All right, let's go and grab all of this stuff here. So our 10%, our 15%, our 20%, all the places where we've got the zeros, over here and we'll go and do the same thing. Can we do the appearance all at once? There is a way to do this, but I don't remember what it is. <sighs> so I guess I'll do them one at a time. Not a problem. All right, you've seen this before. So I'm just gonna come over here. I'm gonna find gravity again, but this time I want it to just be centered. Okay, so I can either do this and double click and now it automatically centers it, okay? Or I can highlight it I can click the ellipsis under gravity and choose center that way. They're doing the exact same thing both ways. All right, so that's been done. And I did them out of order, but that's okay. So I've got everything in row five done and in row four done. So let's move back up to row three. <clears throat> then move up to row two. And the, here we want all three of these to be centered. So. 10%, the 15%, and the 20%. And I believe that's everything that we want as far as all that centering. Okay? It's still not looking great. It's coming together a little bit, but there's, it, there's still a ways for it to go. All right. So that 10%, 15%, etc., We've changed all those, but let's also change the text size on these and make them a little bigger. So under text, there's text size. All right, we can automatically go in here, and that's what we do in our styles thing if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to just manually go in here under text size, and I'm going to put in here 14 SP. Remember, we use SP scalable pixels. All right, we use those for text. All right. And we made that a little bit bigger by doing that. Then we're going to go over to the 15% and do the same thing. Then finally, we're going to go over to the 20% and again, do the same thing. All right, so we've changed all of those. All right, <clears throat> let's do a little bit of work with the um, seek bar. and the stuff that's down in there. So let's see. Um, well, we want the edit text. Let's take a look at what we want to do here, okay? So we now have this, right justified, this is center justified, and I'll double check to make sure that it was. These three should be center justified. These four should be right justified. These six in here should be center justified. This I don't think I did anything to. It's not really going to matter very much. These two should both be center justified. That one again, right justified, and that one I probably should make right justified as well. All right. So it's, like I said, it's coming together. It's last thing on the bottom for total. I don't know if we did change that. We've got that actually centered right now. Let's not center that. Let's change it from center to right. So in fact, uh, let's make it left justified. All right, see how it looks. 
when we get going, it might we might have to change it. It's no big thing. All right. We want this bill edit text right here. This, we want to make sure that that at the top, that that spans columns one through three. So again, there's different ways of doing it. Probably the easiest way, it's called build edit text, is to go into our activity main file, find the bill edit text. There's the bill text view, so it should be right under it. There it is, the bill edit text right there. All right, and we want to again come in here, and it doesn't matter where we do it, so I'm going to put, do it near the bottom. Android layout span equal three. So I'm telling I want that to span three columns. All right, now let's find the seek bar. And there that is, there's the seek bar. And for the seek bar, we want to. Um, have that span two columns. So we're going to come in here and again, let's see if we get to the end. Let's type in Android layout span equals two. All right, so that should now be spanning two columns. Again, you're not going to notice when we get back in here, it's not going to look a lot different. All right. Yet I guess you could say it does because now everything looks a lot more crunched together. It will eventually work its way out where it'll look a lot nicer in just a little bit. All right, so let me see. Uh, in fact, let's try doing this. Let's, let's stop the emulator. Let's start up the emulator again. And it should come up very quickly then. I mean, everything should be fine. But I'll give it a couple minutes. I'll make a couple more changes in here. And ideally, we're going to be able to run this almost right away. And hopefully, now you're going to be able to see a lot more than you saw before. All right. So again, as I mentioned to you, it is all coming together. We've got about five or six more steps that we want to do. Well, we wanted to right align those text views. And we have kind of done that already, okay? So all those text views are right aligned, but you may or may not be able to tell they're pushing right against here. I don't like that. So again, I'm gonna, because it, it, I've been having some problems unless I try to do them. Um, let's see. Let's, let's try it and see if we are able to do this. So there's the first text view, the next one. Everything I'm grabbing that's in column zero. And I want to see if I'm going to manually be able to change this stuff. I may or may not, but either way, it's fine. See, they've changed this over time because if you look here, you used to be able to change a bunch of stuff in here when you did this. Now there's just ID and there's content description. Well, that's not going to help us much. So if there's a faster way of doing what I'm about to show you, I don't know right now at least what it is. We did come over here and we set our gravity to right, so we've right justified that. That was one thing that we wanted to do. All right, but we also want to find in here because someplace in here there's also padding. All right, and for our padding right, we want to set that to 5 dp. And you may or may not have been able to tell, but it pushed it over a little bit. All right, and then we're just going to work our way down and do the same thing. So here's that one, padding right, 5 dp. All right, and I'm just going to, like I said, just work my way down here. I could have set up in my um, styles.xml, I could have set up a special padding that was 5 dp like this, and then like we've done with some of the other stuff, I could have set a custom one up for me. I didn't do it. All right, would it have been faster to do? Possibly. Okay, so we've moved all that stuff over a little bit. All right, moving down to row four, zero, one, two, three, four. So everything that you see in there. 
All right, we want to vertically center the text views that are in row four. All right, so we come back into here. There's row four. Here's that text view. We want to locate the gravity property, which was up near the top, right here. All right. And we don't want to just set right as we're doing right now. We want to set right and we want to set center vertical. So they should both be done right now. Then we want to grab the one that's over here and do the same thing. All right. So right now it's not set at all. So we'll do the same thing right and center vertical. What that will do, just so you're aware of it, is it'll make sure looking at our picture that no matter how wide that seek bar is, that these two particular text views will be centered vertically so they'll look like they line up correctly with them. All right. So we've done all that. All right, just a couple more things. Again, these are all aesthetic types of things that we're doing right now. I'm going to come back to that first row that's right there. And I want to make sure that their layout height is set to match parent. Right now it's set to wrap content. All right. And that moved it up a little bit. Don't worry about it because it'll look okay when we get done. And the padding bottom, we're going to set to 5 dp. So we've already set some padding before, but we've got to find padding bottom in here. And it's there. We just have to look for it a little bit. There's padding. Padding bottom. All right. 5 dp. And we're going to do the same thing with this one right here that we just did. All right, so we're going to set the padding bottom for this one. So we just set that one. The, the right and bottom are both 5 dp. Now here, we've got the right set, but we're going to set the bottom to 5 dp. All right. <clears throat> And we're also in much the same way that we just did it, so we've done that. We also want to go up to the top, and we want to set its layout height to match parent. All right. Again, what this is going to end up doing as we work our way through there is it'll align things to make them look a little bit nicer. All right, it's going to take the two text views and make them the same height as the seek bar. And, and uh, it will align the text vertically with the seek bar. All right, so we've, we've now got 18 of our, our 22 or so steps done. All right, so we need to set a few other things. So I'm going to highlight next, I'm going to highlight the seek bar right here. All right. And the first thing I want to do is I want to find progress because that's where we are. So we're just going to set that. Let's just pick out an arbitrary value. So we'll set it to 18. So it's set right now to 18%. Seems like a pretty good amount for a tip. Let's set the padding left and the padding right on both those. On both of them to 8 dp. Remember, there's dp and there's sp. DP is for density pixels, and that's anything that's not text. So we've set padding left and padding right. We're going to set the padding bottom to 5 DP. And we're going to set the, a property that's in there that's called focusable. We're going to set it to false. So when the user changes the seek bar's value, the bill edit text will still remain the focus. All right, this will help the keyboard on the screen that displays the soft keyboard. So it's right down below it where it says focusable. And notice right now it's, it's set to true, so I can double click and it sets to false. Double click again and it sets to true. Or I can click over here and I'm able to set it that way. But I want to set it to false. And now it is. All right.
Okay, so with the exception of the bill edit text, everything else that's in here is simply set up to show the results of calculation. So we talked about this before, but had we left these values that you see in here that have the zeros, all those, had we left those as edit text, then we would want to go in and we'd want to set their focusable property to right, I'm sorry, to false rather, their long clickable and their cursor visible properties to false. So you couldn't have clicked on them. All right. We'll talk about that in class. Okay. For the keypad type, we want to select the bill edit text right here. And in the input type, it already should be set to number decimal. But if it wasn't, we could set it right there. All right. Again, it may not look that nice right now. It's starting to come together. All right. The last thing we want to do is work with the layout weights of some of these components. All right, a component's layout weight specifies its importance when you're talking about or in respect to or with respect to the other components. Right now, every single component in here has a layout weight of zero. Each component's layout weight determines how it's sized relative to other components. So we want to set the layout to one for really all of the components except the text views in the left column. What that means is if we set all of these that are in here to one, not these here, but these that have our actual data and stuff, there as we grow and shrink our, our screen, they'll grow and shrink. But the other components that have the text value of zero, all right, they won't stretch. All right? So I want to set the layout weight to one for all components except the text views in the left column. All right? Just because of the luck that I have not had doing this, I'm going to do these individually. So I'm going to just come over here. Click here. All right? I'm going to find the layout weight right here. And I'm going to set it to one. And I'm going to just keep doing that. All right, so not, not any, or all of these, I should say. So layout weight one, layout weight one, layout weight one. Not set this one, because it's one of the ones that are way on the left. All right, but I want to set this one to one. I want to set this one to one. And I want to set this one to one. All right, I don't want to set this one, but I do want to set the next three. All right, I don't want to set this one. I don't think I really want to set this one either. Ah, that's my percentage view, so maybe I will. We'll see. can always go back and change it later if I want to. Finally, here, I want to set, and I do want to set the seek bar. I don't think I set that one. Let's set that to one. All right, don't want that one. Do want that one. Do want that one. And I do want that one. All right, I'm hoping now I've got everything aesthetically now set up for this. So let's see if I go back here. There it is. All right, drag that up. Let's right mouse click on the project name. Choose Run As. Go to Android application. Bring this back up, and hopefully it's going to run very, very quickly. What I'll have to do is print out the final uh, XML for you so that you can see that. Okay? And hopefully it'll look pretty decent, maybe not perfect. I might still be a thing or two I have to fix up. But then we can stop this part of the lecture and go on and start actually writing the code. All right? So let's see. It looks like it's going to come up. 
Again, it's not functionable right now. It's not, ay, caramba. Unfortunately, it stopped, which means I've got an error in here someplace. And I'm looking over here at my error screen, and you can see it as well as I can. That there's at least something in there that it doesn't like. That log hat should go down here. Error log up here. And then I should be able to move also. Come on, move. Console should be able to move also to right there. I want this to start looking the way it should look. Even know what this thing here is. Okay, so starting to clean this up a little bit, make it look the way that it should be looking. All right. So I want to clear my error log. It looks like it might be clear. Let's come in and try to run this again. All right. Evidently, I put something in there that caused the whole thing to, bl to blow up. So run as Android application. So when it says it stopped like that, I put something in here that made it blow up. Boy, I'm not happy about that. So I'll have to go back and try to debug it. But I'll tell you what I'll do. Rather than waste my time and waste your time doing that, I'm going to go back and look at all these warnings and everything else. So I'm going to change all that stuff. I've noticed it right now. It says instead of using write, I should be using end, etc. So I'll fix all that stuff to try to get rid of all those warning messages. But when I come back in just a few minutes, um, I'm going to start writing the code. Okay? So this will now end part two of the presentation.